welcome back to my channel. My name is Allie, if you have not been here before, and thank you so much for watching this video. So if you've been following me on Instagram or even here on YouTube, you've probably figured out by now that my absolute favorite hairstyle at the moment is definitely to crimp my hair with like nice big beachy waves. This style, like mermaid waves, I guess is like one of the things that it's being called too, is super, super in right now. And if you guys watched on my channel maybe a few months back, I actually did a tutorial on how I do my hair like that. Um, I'll go ahead and leave a little link below if you guys want to watch that. But it's actually pretty crazy because that video wasn't doing that well on my channel. It maybe had like just under or like right about 2,000 views, um, maybe like a week into me like first posting it. And now it's got over 70,000 views. I have no idea how that happened. I don't understand YouTube, but thank you guys so much if you watched that video and enjoyed it. I so appreciate it. But I actually got a lot of comments on that video like, why don't you just use a waiver? And for me, my hesitancy with waivers for the longest time has been that I just feel like they look really, really like too uniform and kind of unnatural in a lot of ways. Like obviously I'm using heat to create these crimps in a lot of ways. It does look like very obvious that I did it myself, but I still do it in a way that feels a little bit more natural looking to me and less uniform. And when I've seen waivers being used, I feel like you just get the same like crimps throughout and it just looks so obvious. So what I want to do today is put another waiver to the test because I already tried using one. I actually filmed the whole process and I was not a huge fan about how it turned out. So I'll go ahead and like insert some footage here, but it was the Revlon Jumbo Waver and there was a lot of good reviews on it, but for me personally, I didn't feel like the waves were big enough. I wanted them to be like bigger size crimps. So I did a little bit more research and this came highly recommended. This is the Bedhead Wave Artist. Massive Shine Wave Artist is what it says. It says two times tourmaline ceramic deep waver, masterfully sculpted waves with shine boost. So when I initially pulled it out of the box, I was like, no, this is smaller. But when you unlock it, you can see like how deep that crimp wave is supposed to get. So I have high hopes for this thing. I'm really hoping it works out. What I ended up doing with the Revlon waiver after I did it was I just did the bottom half of my hair with it, like the extension part. And then the top half, I used my curling iron to create the rest of my waves. So I might end up having to do the same thing with this one, but we're going to put it to the test and see what happens. So two nights ago, I washed my hair and I just straightened the ends this morning because I didn't feel like doing it right when I got out of the shower um, a couple nights ago. So my hair is a little bit greasy, but not too bad. I'm gonna use some dry shampoo at the end to hopefully get rid of some of that grease. But I'm just gonna section off my hair right now. I'm gonna do the bottom section first. I absolutely love having extensions in my hair, but these extensions tangle way more frequently than my real hair does. For some reason, my real hair doesn't tangle very often, so I'm like not used to it. Like most people are probably used to brushing their hair and having tangles. I'm not used to it, so I'm like a little bit of a sissy about it. Anyways, moving along. I'm gonna do this first little piece right here. Let's see how this goes. Okay, this one is like way more crimpy than the Revlon one. Like wonder if I, okay, that first piece looks kind of gnarly. I don't know about this guys. Oh God. Okay, so. I don't even know what to say. This looks real crazy. I think I'm just gonna keep going with my hair and try to stay positive because right now, this looks really interesting. Okay, 
it definitely works better if I alternate the way that I'm holding the iron. So I'm clamping down like this first and then releasing and then I'm turning it around this way, clamping. Kind of the same idea that I do with like a curling iron, but the problem with this, and I kind of have the same problem with the other one that I use too, is if you are just like continually going down like this, you just get a really weird wave pattern. Like you get some pieces that are like weirdly crimped. I don't know. It seems like when I go the opposite way, I get a bit better of a wave pattern. So I'm going to keep trying that and I'm not going to go down to the bottom as much as I did on some of these other pieces. This piece here like seems like it's the best so far. So let's keep going. definitely say that I like this side way better. I still feel like I'm kind of getting that very obvious vibe that it is like a crimper. I do like how this side looks a little bit more messy but at the same time just like the curls like the waves are not as cute. So I'm going to keep going with that same technique I used on this side for the bottom half of my hair just alternating which ways that I'm waving the hair and yeah. We'll see how it goes until the end. either um what i will say with the revlon waiver i felt first off the curls were definitely not as thick as these which i do like how thick these are but something about these that i don't like as much is they're like really really crimpy like real crimpy and i might be able to soften them up a bit with like some dry shampoo and just like some roughing them up up at the end and then maybe like once I sleep on it it won't be as like crimpy but those are like my thoughts as far as um just like how the overall waves look something else that I noticed while I was crimping my hair is it's definitely best if you are doing this technique where you're going back and forth like that that when you are um, going back and forth, it's best to get absolutely as close as you can to like the previous wave when you're waving your hair because if you don't, if you add like too much space, you'll get like a random weird kind of kink in your hair. So I would definitely suggest doing that. One thing that I also don't really love about this is I don't feel like I have as much control over my hair when it comes to like getting down at the ends. Um, I just have some like weird crimpy waves that I'm definitely gonna have to like flat iron out that I don't love but overall I think it works pretty well obviously it's gonna get my hair done way faster than manually doing it with a curling iron but I'm not like obsessed with the waves so I'm definitely going to use my curling iron for the top of my hair so for the top sections I'm using my hot tools curling iron I got this a few years ago I believe that this is a one and a half, actually I think it's a one and three quarters or two inch curling iron. And you guys will definitely see that the waves are like way bigger when I use this versus the waver. So I'm just gonna section my hair into two sections. So all I do is I take a section and I'm going to open up my curling iron and I'm going to let that sit for a few seconds. And then I'm doing like the same exact technique where I alternate which way the waves go. So obviously this takes a lot longer 
but if you guys can see this wave i just feel like it looks so much more natural and i have so much better control over it than i do with just using the waver the other thing is i feel like i am able to use like the same size sections pretty much when i'm using my hair like this which is obviously it's only doing one wave at a time versus like three see it still does look pretty uniform like I feel like it's pretty obvious that I used a hot tool for it but I don't know there's just something about the waves that I like so much better than this like kind of kinky look down here and I feel like I'm able to get just such better control over a curling iron versus a waver so I'm still not like fully convinced on a waver if you guys have a suggestion for a waver that you really like Please let me know. I'm going to try and fix up some of these curls down at the bottom right now just with my straightener. This one is just from a GHD. I love this one. It's really good. <laughs> I'm just going to use a little bit of my Batiste dry shampoo. This is the tropical scent. It smells like a tropical vacation. Tropical coconutty vacation. And this is what we're left with. I do love how this hairstyle just gives me so much body and volume. I think it is so fun. And for me, it does last a full week. I really typically don't have to hit it with a curling iron again, maybe once more in just certain sections, but never like the entire thing over again. It's definitely one of my favorite things about this hairstyle. So overall, I would say that this works well. And if you're somebody who really wants to achieve this style, but maybe just doesn't have the time or the patience to work with a curling iron only, I definitely think a waver is a good option. The only thing is for me, like this was obviously my first time using this one. I think if I kept using it, I could maybe get a better hang of it. But overall, again, like I said, I just like my other waves better. And if I am just going to take the time to do my hair once a week, I might as well do it the way that I want to do it versus using this and kind of like sacrificing what I want. But I might try it again and I might fall in love with it. Just at this point, I'm not sold. Sorry, that's just me being honest. I tried a waiver. I really, really tried it. And it's not horrible, but it's not... I guess up to my expectations so yeah that's I guess what my feelings are on a waiver I wish I had better feelings I was really really hoping that even the first waiver that I used I was gonna absolutely fall in love with it and it was going to save me so much time but unfortunately it's just not cutting it for me and that's okay I was happy with the way I was doing it before and I'll probably just keep doing it that way until somebody comes out with a better waiver. So if you guys have a better suggestion for a waiver for me, please go ahead and leave that in the comment section down below. I would love to try it out. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would so appreciate that. And if you'd like any more reviews or tutorials for me, whether it's hair, makeup, 
whatever just let me know i would love to do those for you guys please make sure you're subscribed to my channel if you have not already and hit that notification bell so you're notified every single time i upload and come follow me on instagram i definitely love to play up with fashion with beauty on there so it'd be so cool if you followed me as always my outfit details and camera equipment as well as my poshmark where i sell my clothes and shoes all that information is all listed down in the description box so you guys can check it out there if you want to i hope you guys have an incredible rest of your day and i will see you in the next video bye